Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to decoupage a box. I've got a cigar box here that I've already painted gold. Nothing on the inside. I've got some uh, glue that's been watered down a bit so that it's not too thick and a wide paintbrush. I've also got some papers. Um, looking through magazines, I found a picture that caught my eye. Um, I just love this color green. And plus my box is already gold, so I thought this would be perfect. And I've actually cut it already to the exact size, well not the exact size, the exact width of my box. So rather than focusing on painting my box, I'm going to focus on decoupage. And decoupage is just um, basically it's like collage where you stick um, items to a flat surface to create a work of art. But in this case, the flat surface is something three dimensional. So I think what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to put this um, image onto my top of my box. Now I have to decide, do I want it like this? So when I open up my box, do I want to be looking at it this way or do I want to be looking at it this way? And I think I like this way. So I'm just going to uh, coat the whole top of my box with a thin layer, okay, that's the key, a thin layer of glue. Now we're going to be using lots of glue and lots of layers of glue. So you're probably used to gluing the back of something and sticking it down with no glue showing around it. But in this case, uh, we're going to be painting the glue we're going to be using glue underneath, but also glue on top and all over. And we'll probably use actually many layers of glue. So I'm going to uh, position this here, try to get it even on both sides since it doesn't cover the whole thing. And um, I'm going to Try to get the wrinkles out by gently rubbing it from inside out. And you can also put a piece of paper on top of here if, if you've got glue on your fingers and it's getting really messy, you can put a piece of paper on top of this. And I'm already seeing some wrinkles here. A few wrinkles might be inevitable if it were heavier paper, maybe not, but I think this thin magazine paper is probably just going to have a few wrinkles, but do the best you can. Try to keep your hands dry and clean while you do this. Big wrinkle in the middle here. Hmm. Kind of pull the paper a little bit. So I'm just kind of stretching the paper out, trying to get rid of that wrinkle I'm seeing here. Now I'm just going to let this dry. Um, originally my understanding was that you go right over this with another layer of glue, but apparently if you let it dry, it won't wrinkle as much. So we're going to try that. Right, so I'm just going to leave this alone. And um, I'm not going to try to remove any of that extra glue. Like I said, we're going to be gluing over, over it a bunch of times. So, um, I'm 
just just remember that while you're working. Oh, another thing is uh, you can dry a brayer as well to get. Okay, now I think I'd like to line my box with something. <clears throat> Maybe I'll start with the top here. Um, that would mean I would have to measure this very carefully and cut it on my paper cutter. Back, I'm going to cut this on the paper cutter. I am going to use thicker glue. Also with the glue brush, very important that you put it straight back into a glass of water when you're finished using it. Don't let it sit around too much um, in the air because if you let the glue dry on this brush it will definitely harden like a rock. So let's try this again. That should work better. Okay. So, I mean, I could put that in there, but I think I'd like to go for a little more variety. Cut, I can cut these two the same size. I don't want my brush to be too wet when I apply the glue. I'm going to go back to my Water down glue. Also, if there's any dust in your box, you want to get it out before you do this. <laughs> 